Weather Together. Vince, thank you. We continue to following a developing story. About a half an hour ago at the top of this newscast, you heard from Milwaukee County DA John Chisholm announcing he is ordering an investigation into the death of Derek Williams. Williams died in police custody 14 months ago. Originally, it was believed he died from a medical crisis. But just released videotape of moments before his death raises some new questions about his death. Milwaukee County DA John Chisholm has announced a public inquest will be done, and it will be led by an independent prosecutor. Meantime, Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn says his department fully supports the re-examination of events leading up to Williams' arrest and death that night. The Milwaukee Fire and Police Commission pointed out it had already been uh, the it, it already examined the controversial video and other evidence before ruling officers did nothing wrong back in July of 2011. In our initial review, we, we reviewed all the reports and information and video uh, that were available to us. Well, still the commission director tells Fox 6 that his board will open a new review of the case because of the recent change to the medical examiner's report. When Derek Williams died, original medical reports indicated he was affected by a sickle cell trait, a mostly benign gene that affects about 1 in 12 African Americans. But in incredibly rare cases, the trait can lead to death. Fox 6's Chip Brewster explains how this unlikely circumstance may be responsible for claiming Williams' life while he was in the back of that squad car. Dash cam video from the early morning of July 6, 2011 shows 22-year-old Derek Williams apparently struggling to breathe while under arrest for robbery. Not long after this, Williams was pronounced dead on scene. A recently revised medical examiner's report names homicide as the manner of death involving sickle cell trait. The sickle cell trait is not associated with sudden unexpected death. Dr. Paul Scott is the medical director of Children's Hospital of Wisconsin Sickle Cell Center. He explained sickle cell trait is simply a genetic mutation, not the full-blown sickle cell disease. It's found primarily in African Americans after their ancestors developed the mutation for the positive. Having sickle cell trait is partially protective against malaria, which was a big help in Africa where malaria is endemic. The disease can occur when two people with sickle cell trait have a child. If diagnosed with the disease, that child faces the danger of their red blood cells sickling or changing from round cells to pointed cells. This same scenario is possible in those with the trait, but very rare. Since most of the hemoglobin is A in each red blood cell, the sickling is usually averted other than the rare circumstances, as I said, of serious dehydration and, and fluid depletion. Though rare, it may fit the circumstances surrounding Williams' death. In the medical examiner's report, Williams' girlfriend tells investigators the robbery suspect had taken ecstasy earlier that day, a drug which dehydrates. Plus, according to police, Williams had led them on a foot chase immediately before his arrest. And Dr. Scott emphasized to me how truly rare a case of sickle cell trait causes death. His point, the thousands of African Americans living with the genetic mutation in our area should not worry about something similar happening to them. Live in the newsroom, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. All right, Chip, thanks very much. Let's look ahead to tonight's game. It is always better to give than to receive unless you play wide out for the Packers. After sitting out the Chicago game with an injury, Greg Jennings hopes to...